Anthony, before we before we get stuck into the details of Solar Can Day, let's uh, let's find out a little bit about Solar Can. Full stop. Um, so, Sam, Solar Can, Solar Can, Sam, the man, talk us through what a Solar Can is, please. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone online. Hello, Paul. Hello, Marina. We said all that before. So what is a solar can? I suspect most of the people reviewing this at the moment know exactly what a solar can is, but <laughs> just in case don't, a solar can is, let me grab grab one that's not in a box. It's an extreme, it's an, you see copy? It's an extreme time exposure camera capable of capturing the path of the sun over days, weeks, months, or years. And it captures photographs like this. Ooh. Whoa. There we go. What we're looking at here is a four-month solar can image. Uh, and every single line that you see on here is a different day. So you'll notice some days that don't have a line. That would be because there'll be a cloudy day or a dark day. Makes sense. And some days are dotted. There'll be cloudy days where clouds are passing, some cumulus clouds, perhaps, something like that. So... How does it work? Well, you take your soda can. I'm going to slowly run out of these because I forgot where I'm going Right, I'm going to take Marina and me off the screen as well. Sam, you have the full screen to show us everything. <laughs> make me all nervous. Okay, so uh, how does it work? How does this, because it doesn't look like a traditional camera, uh, how does it work as a camera? Well, it's essentially a pinhole camera. So there's a tiny 0.4 millimeter pinhole just there, and there's some photographic paper inside. As the sun passes through the sky, the light that's coming from the sun is so strong, it passes through the pinhole and it burns a line across the photographic paper inside. Now, we're all familiar with photographic paper, hopefully those uh, who are tuning into Analog Wonderland, and one thing we're always warned is keep your paper in a under a safe light or in a safe room and out of the light so the reason we do that is because it'll get fogged if we take it out of the uh, uh the dark room or out of a safe light however what solar can does it uses that problem to its advantage so it hacks the idea of what photo photographic paper is and it takes that discoloration and captures that inside on the on the photographic paper that's inside and that's how it works essentially mm -hmm. so when you're finished capturing the sun's path and the optimum time is six months from solstice to solstice more commonly known as solar can day to solar can day <laughs> when... ah, that's right. yeah i've heard that I, I remember learning about that in school actually so <laughs> uh you uh you can retrieve the photographic paper that's inside using a tin opener. So a tin opener opens up the inside and it leaves a very smooth edge around the inside if it's done properly. So if you put it on the wrong way, it won't be done properly, but the right way, the same way you do a baked bean tin, and it should be nice and uh, clean to get out. And you can pull out your image and your image will look something a bit like this. So a bit brownish, a bit magenta maybe, a bit... Uh, it'll be white, so the white photographic paper, but some sort of unusual colours are in, not the sort of traditional colours that you see. And all you do then is take a photograph of it or take a scan of it and invert it. That means when you turn the black to white and the white to black, etc. And that's where the magic happens. So here's an example of well. one pre-invert and one after-invert there. So you can see the, the, the difference and change. And what we recommend people do is after they've inverted it, they do some edits, uh, use their own creativity a bit, uh, adjust the curves, the levels, uh, the contrast, the saturation, the clarity, if you're really filthy, and you can <laughs> come up with a lovely image. And that's your creation. And just to finish up on that, it's, it's more than just a camera to me, and I've, I've yet to find a way to say this, which doesn't sound cheesy, it's as much as a camera as it is a learning experience. Mm -hmm. What people get out of uh, solar can is an understanding of the world and how the sun moves through the sky and how optics work, how photography works. It's a bit of a gateway drug into analog photography, really. <laughs> yeah. That helps. Hang on, hang on. Oh. Round of applause. Oh, look at that. <laughs>